in this multiple choice question, they're not looking for the solution of the log equation. They're looking for the extraneous root. So this is a nice little twist. So an extraneous root is a root that is a solution to one part of the equation, but not to the entire equation. So what I'm anticipating is that somewhere along the way of solving this, I'm going to end up with a quadratic. And in that quadratic, I'm going to have one root that works, which is the solution, and one root that doesn't work, which is the extraneous root. So let's get started. I always like to, when I'm doing logs, look at my restrictions. So I have a log with an argument of x plus 3, and I know that has to be greater than 0. So the restriction for that log is that it's greater than negative 3. My other log has an argument of x minus 5, and that has to be greater than 0. So the solution would be x greater than 5. So I always choose the bigger of the two, so the restriction that satisfies the whole equation is that x is greater than 5. So to solve this, I have two logs that are added and they have the same base. So I can combine those as one big log by multiplying the arguments together. So x plus 3 times x minus 5 equal to 2. So let's simplify my argument by applying the distributive property. So x times x, x times negative 5, 3 times x, 3 times negative 5 equals 2. So log base 3 of x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals 2. So I have a nice log equation now, but the solution that I'm looking for involves me solving for the argument. I can't do that with the log form, so I'm going to switch to exponential form. So I'm going to use the circle of logs. 3 to the exponent of 2 is equal to my argument. So 3 squared equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. So this is 9 equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. So subtract 9 from both sides, and I get 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 24. So I do, in fact, have a quadratic. So I'm going to factor that. So to factor that, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 24 and add to negative 2. So I know that's negative 6 and positive 4. So I set each factor equal to 0, and I solve for x. So here, x can be 6. Here, x can be negative 4. Now my overarching restriction is that x is greater than 5. So this one here is the solution. But they're not looking for the solution. They're looking for the extraneous root, which is negative 4. It's a solution to the quadratic, but not a solution to the log equation. So the extraneous root is x equal to negative 4. The answer to this question is C. C.